I'll tell you what the problem is. Not everyone wants an everything bagel. Sure, they're alluring because they have, every, you know, everything. I mean, it's in the name. Sesame, the uh, garlic, salt, uh, the seeds, different seeds. The point is, it's a lot of stuff. But that doesn't mean we want absolutely plain either. So what I do is I look in a bag or pile of plain bagels, and I look for ones that maybe came into contact with everything. So they have just a little bit of the stuff on them. So, you know, it's like a little dangerous. Like you got a plain bagel, but it like rubs shoulders with an everything bagel. You, you know what I'm saying? So they should make this, like they should have plain bagels and then a bagel called, are, are you ready for this? In the bag. It's called in the bag. So it's a bagel that spent some time around everything bagels. So you get a little bit of, the flavor and stuff, but it's not overwhelming. Did we talk about this already? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're gonna take a look at a new feature you can do with Windows 365 Cloud PCs, and that's using an autopilot device preparation profile to provision them. Because I can't just say, hey, I, I want a half a dozen plain bagels and you know rub them up against the everything bagels, they would, they would throw me out of the store. Solving for the modern workplace. So one of the new features of Windows 365 is in the provisioning policies, and I'll show you one that we already have here. It's the ability to use autopilot device preparation to configure the cloud PC. So take a look, Windows Autopilot, link an autopilot device preparation policy to make sure devices are ready for users after provisioning. But wait a minute, I thought we can't use autopilot for cloud PCs because they're already in Intune, what sense would it make? Well, that's not exactly what it is. Specifically, it's device preparation. And in a situation where we have Windows 365 shared PCs, it adds a pretty crucial element. So let me break it down. So the standard Windows 365 deployment flow is the provisioning policy is created. So you have the Windows 365 PC, it gets enrolled to Intune when it's created, and then it gets its finished status of provisioned. When a cloud PC is ready to be logged into, it gets this provision status here. And once the user signs in, the PC starts getting applications and policy from Intune. But there are some situations where you would want this to be completed first, right? So just like a physical PC, maybe you don't want a user signing in to a Windows 365 cloud PC until all these apps and all these policies have you know, finished being provisioned. And that's exactly where this new workflow comes in. So now what we have is a device preparation policy that's applied to the cloud PCs when they're created. So Windows 365 creates the cloud PC and rolls it in Intune, but before it's given the provision status, things like applications and policies that are set in the profile are configured first before the end user logs in. And then once it receives the provision status, the user can log in and everything is there for them. So right now this is available for Windows 365 frontline SKUs specifically, which are meant for multiple users and in the shared configuration. Now, maybe eventually it'll be available for all Windows 365 uh, PCs, but right now that's the mode we're looking at. So let's get it set up. All right, so we're gonna start off by configuring the device preparation policy and that's gonna be an enrollment and Windows Autopilot device preparation. So we're gonna create, and you can see there's two options now. There's user-driven and automatic preview. So let's skip ahead uh, to basics. We can give this a name. I'm gonna call mine Windows 365 Frontline Shared. Now the device group is very critical because this is where um, the device preparation policy places the device right once the user signs in so it's a little bit of a different flow with windows 365 but it's still the same group as other device preparation policies so um let's go ahead and take a look and i'll show you we'll make an intro tab so i open a new tab here so we can look at making the group so what you're going to do is do new group we're going to call this w365 i'm going to call mine frontline shared W365 PCs. I have another one similar um, that I made before this demo. Um, so what you want to do here 
is it's very important you leave it as assigned and we select an owner all right so you're going to want to search intune autopilot and there's a service principle there it is called confidential client now if you don't see this um there's also a GUID you can look for. And if we search just that GUID, it shows up as well. So it's very important that this is the owner of your group because this allows Intune to place devices into it. All right, so we're gonna create the group. And then here we search for Frontline and there's my group, Frontline Shared PCs. Now in my example, I already have devices in it and that's just because um, we're rebuilding this, but there shouldn't be anything in there if this is your first time using this group with the profile, because the profile is gonna put the devices in the group. Now, this is important. This is where we're actually gonna select our apps and scripts that will apply to the device before the user can use the shared cloud PC. So uh, I think I have in mind, uh, I think I have Google Chrome, we can add that. And I did company portal. There we go. So I'm going to select those two apps. And if you do have any PowerShell scripts, you can select them here and they'll apply as well. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to stick with the apps. So we're actually not going to assign this. This is going to be used by the cloud provisioning policy. So we're just going to hit save. Okay. Now we go to Windows 365 and we are going to go to provisioning policies and we're going to create a policy. So we're going to call this frontline shared whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, we're going to select for license type frontline because this is literally the type that we're using. Um, and I'm going to do shared because this is for shared cloud PCs, right? Um, so if we go down, I'm going to leave the standard enter join and hosted network, choose your location. Um, it's up to you if you want to use single sign on. I'm going to select the base 24H2 Windows 11 image. This is where it's critical. So do you want to apply a name or not? I like to use uh, I like to use a name. I think I'll do frontline dash. I need eight random characters to make 15. Yeah. OK. Um, now, this is the new part. Link and autopilot device preparation policy. So you should see the one you created because we had to select automatic when we create it. So this way, this Windows 365, you know, provisioning policy we're making is aware of it. So when we click that, now you have the option, just kind of like traditional autopilot. How long are you going to allow for all that to work? Right. Uh, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, totally up to you. And now you'll have the option to prevent users from connecting if there is a failure or a timeout. So it's totally up to you. And this is where you would assign this policy um, to users who will be able to log into shared PCs. So this provisioning policy knows to use the device preparation policy to put devices into that group. So when the user signs in, they'll be all set. So we're kind of decoupling device prep from users for this flow, which is pretty interesting. So now when you're at all cloud PCs, you can see I have two that were provisioned by the frontline shared policy with them being provisioned that means they should have passed through the device preparation policy now the way we're going to check that is we're going to go to connect now the nice thing here is i'm not going to have to wait for anything because i already waited while the devices were provisioning so they're going to have everything they need or everything i've determined in the device prep policy so it's ready before they start working and there we go so you can see we have Chrome. We should have Company Portal installed. Uh, let's click on all. Yep, there's Company Portal. Cool. And you can see uh, the policies even start to kick in. So I have my wallpaper policy. I have my hiding of the widgets here. Um, so we're all set. So it, it, it kind of gave us this autopilot like experience, even though we're using uh, Windows 365. I really like seeing another use for autopilot device preparation as it's becoming uh, just more widely used in general. And I think pairing it with this particular use case from Windows 365 makes a lot of sense, um, especially when, you know, we're in an environment where you want to make sure there's a certain standard or posture on the cloud PCs before someone logs into it. And it really makes sense with shared PCs since you have users logging in and out of them. Let me know your thoughts. Are you using Windows 365 Frontline today, the shared PCs? Are you using device prep? What's your experience? And, you know, 
feedback, questions, hop in the Discord for all of that, as always. We'll be seeing you.